Can you believe it? It's snowing. It's actually snowing. I haven't seen snow like this for years, you know, being in China and stuff. It snows there, but um, it doesn't really lay on the ground for long. So, yeah, it's nice to see snow. It's nice to see snow back home. Obviously, some parts of China snow a lot, but I'm talking about the part I'm in, which is near Shanghai. Beautiful. So I've got myself a Greg's coffee and a Greg's pasty. Standard, standard. If you don't know what Greg's is, Greg's is like, Greg's is England. It represents England. Greg's is from England. It's from actually not far from where I live. It's uh, originated in Tyneside, you know, Newcastle way, northeast. Um, and it just sells pastries, yeah, for quite cheap actually. So this deal was, I got a pasty and a coffee. This was three pound 10. A few years ago, that would have been quite expensive, but now with everything rising, yeah, quite cheap considering other places. But yeah, I keep tradition. I always go to Greg's nearly every day or back in the day before I went to China, always got a pasty, a coffee, and sometimes a cheeky sausage roll. But I'm just having a walk outside here in my hometown because the weather is actually really nice. It's about afternoon now, but look at that. Look at that beauty, look at it. We've got the seaside, the sun is shining. It was snowing earlier on. Yeah. So I'm going to have a walk down the beach. This is only like five minutes from my house. So yeah. Nice area, very nice area. Need to watch out in case I get knocked over. <laughs> Don't want to do that. I'm going back to China soon. Yeah, I'll go back to China next week. I'm a little nervous actually because I need a COVID test to go back to China. Obviously nervous, I fail it and get a positive test. Um, that's my biggest worry. But my second biggest worry is where do I even get one from? <laughs> so I need like an official certificate, you know, something China would accept as a legitimate test. So yeah, fun and games. I have to do that like 48 hours before, before I fly to China. So yeah, I have to do a lot of research. I haven't been doing research because I didn't want to stress about it a lot. So I've just been trying to have fun, <laughs> you know, see friends, family, you know, that sort of things, eat Greg's. Donna kebabs, full English breakfast, the lot, the lot, Sunday roast, Woo! the lot. Going to Tesco's, which I probably will later on because I need a good food shop. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm a bit nervous about that, but I'm sure everything will be all right. It's just, I overthink everything. I'm one of those guys, or one of those people that just overthink everything. Everything's times a hundred. So yeah, let's try to cross this road now. There's actually two lighthouses here. There's a lighthouse there in the distance, which you can actually walk to, but it's a bit cold to do that at the moment. And there's a second lighthouse. There's still some snow on the floor. Still some snow. It's cold, but it's not cold at the same time. Like, I'm not freezing. Um, so it must be about two, three degrees at the moment. But yeah, I used to love coming down here on the seafront when I'm stressed or, you know, just on an evening to de-stress after work or if I have things on my mind. Quite a nice area to live in, so I'm quite lucky. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very lucky to be living here. When I'm here, when I'm here. Obviously, I live in China still. But yeah, here is the lighthouse. Lighthouse numero uno. There is lighthouse numero dos. Yeah, I'm showing my language skills here. And if you go here, we have the ocean. This is the ocean. Look at that. Goes all the way around. It's actually miles long because if you walk all the way around there, you cross there, <laughs> past the lighthouse, and there's another beachfront. So yeah, it goes on for miles. And past those cliffs there, 
there's another beachfront. So if you walk at all, you could be walking for days. No, no, it's not that long. But yeah, it's a very, very long coastline. In my opinion, it's one of the best in England, but that's just me being biased. But it's actually really nice now because there's new restaurants being built. Um, the stack, I don't know if you know what the stack is. It's like a kind of street food area with bars and things up there. So they've modernized it in the last few years. So it's quite a touristy, touristy, touristy attraction. Yeah, all up there, there's restaurants, bars, yeah, and that sort of thing. I don't usually swim here, but sometimes when it's a little hot, I swim further out there because there's no rocks like here. I remember when I used to be a kid, I slipped down here, just down here. They've actually closed it off now. Yeah, cut my leg open. So yeah, they've blocked it off anyway now. So that's cool. But yeah, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So this is actually Sunderland, which is in the northeast. Not many people know where Sunderland is. Usually, if you're from Sunderland, they just label you a Geordie from Newcastle. But no, this is not Newcastle. This is Sunderland. Sunderland is next to Newcastle. Very, very close. If I drove to Newcastle from here, from Sunderland, it will probably... I'm making up words here. Probably. That's one of those words to tongue twisters. Probably. It's quite cold, you know. You know what? It's cold. Sometimes I just can't say some words because it's too cold. And the tongue twisters anyway. Probably. 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 <laughs> probably. Probably. I'm so... My lips are so cold. I said I wasn't cold, but my lips are very cold. I'll say it how I used to say it when I was a kid. Probably. Right. So, probably. Um, it'll take about 25 minutes if if you drove quite fast about 25 minutes here yeah. but yeah average 25 minutes um, maybe 30 minutes but usually probably less than that but yeah really really close to here um, it's so fresh look at that That is fresh. I want to walk down here, but it doesn't look very, very safe. Um, but we'll try it. If something happens to me now, I've got video evidence <laughs> to what happened to me. So if somebody uh, finds my camera, they'll know my last words, my final words. And they will probably blah, 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 be pow pow. <laughs> Right, we're getting a bit closer. It's a bit wet down here. We're getting a bit closer to the sea. I actually used to do the Boxing Day dip. Obviously, Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. Um, I used to be in the Air Cadets, and every year on Boxing Day, we did a charity dip. So we'd go swimming the day after Christmas for charity. So we'd run down either those stairs or those stairs, I'm not really sure and there was like a big fire engine they will wet you before you run in to the sea so you're used to the water and we'll all have fancy dress some of us will dress like pirates you know the army fairy characters disney characters whatever whatever fancy dress um yeah and we'll just run from there the reason we run is because we'll get warmer so nice and warm before we enter the cold icy sea. I remember one day I was quite young, I think I was about 14 or 13 when I done it. It felt like I lost my penis in the sea. It, it, it was like a sharp, sharp pain. I'm not sure if you've swum when it was really cold, but yeah, I had a really, really sharp pain in my penis and it felt like it dropped off. So I was very worried at the time. Um, I can confirm now it hasn't, but um, yeah, worrying times, worrying times. I, I think I was about 13 or 14 at the time, um, long ago, B very, very long ago. So yeah, run all the way from there to there and into the sea. Would not stay in the sea for long, probably about, probably, I said it right, I said it right, I'm getting warmer. So about five minutes, max, max, sometimes seconds. But yeah, 
So yeah, there's a stack. It's like, you know those like ship containers? It's like a lot of them together, but they're actually all restaurants and bars. So it's like, you know, some kind of modern art called a stack. There's one in, there's one in Newcastle, but I don't know, it's like a chain or just one here in Newcastle, that's it, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's like a new concept of modern eatery um, here in the Northeast. They're probably all the way in, uh, in Britain, but I don't know, I haven't been here for years, so I don't know what goes on in Britain or in England at the moment. Yeah, this is all new for me. That's the stack I was talking about. They look like ship containers. But they're actually uh, restaurants and bars and stuff. That's the leisure world I used to go to when I was a kid. So yeah, there's Morrison's. All bringing back memories, good memories. Um, I'm just going to get on the bus now and head to Tesco's because I need some food shopping. I've changed my mind. I came to Sunderland Town instead. This is Sunderland Town because I needed some train tickets to go to York. I'm going to York in a few days. It's not far from here, like an hour and 45 minutes on the train from Sunderland to York. York is a very, very beautiful city. A lot of tourist attractions and everything. So yeah, I thought while I'm in England, before I go back to China, I'll, um, I'll head to York and look at the sights. I'm just in the heart of the city, Blanford Street, which has a lot of um, charity shops and a nice posh rich cultural and um, has a lot of heritage pub which is the Blanford pub the Blanford pub in Sunderland is the heart of Sunderland we have champagne choices in there all kinds of Prosecco just a posh establishment which I highly recommend if you are ever in Sunderland I've been in a few times but um, yeah I'm always underdressed when I go in there shall I say anyway yeah this is Blanford Street and the main shopping attraction here in Sunderland is the bridges the bridges is like Eldon Square in Newcastle like indoor shopping everything's indoors um, yeah that's the main shopping attraction in Sunderland and it's not much to say really <laughs> so yeah this is my hometown of Sunderland I've just been shopping there getting some essentials for the house so I'm going to end the video there I hope you enjoyed it um, my next video will probably be going uh, back to China. That will probably be my next video. Um, so yeah, keep tuned for that. Let's hope it's a smooth operation. No COVID, no quarantine, and uh, yeah, that sort of stuff. Let's hope it's a smooth journey back to China. So yeah. I think that will be my next video. We'll see. Anyway, over and out. Be good, be safe, be kind, and I'll see you on the next one. Boom! Sunderland.